What is up, all my dumpster peeps? Holy guacamole, my grays are banging. Look at my glasses, how dirty they are. Thanks, son, for showing how dirty my glasses are. As usual, I'm not with the program, okay? <laughs> when am I ever with the program, guys? Never. I'm never with the program. Anywho, hello and welcome to today's dumpster diving video with yours truly. And, of course, Beth, because I'm going to go pick her up. But first, tomorrow is a very special day. Let me put this in the right area. Tomorrow is my husband's 44th birthday, and we need to get him a card because I've been hiding his gifts under the kids' beds <laughs> for, like, I don't know, three weeks now. I had to drop the girls off at cheer practice, of course, and then I have to run to Target and grab the cards, and... Tomorrow, I'm going to grab some cheesecake, which is his favorite, and sing him happy birthday and open presents. But today, we're going dumpster diving. I'm so excited. Listen, listen, I haven't been dumpster diving in a minute, a hot minute, okay? I have not been out since last week because I skipped a day this week because actually I had a video, I had an extra video, so I was like, all right, this is cool. I'm ahead a little so I can skip a day and oh it was so nice <laughs> like I just needed to regroup guys like I am the girls have gymnastics they have cheer they have homework every night I have to cook dinner clean the house work two jobs like I'm just running myself thin I truly truly am so that being said we are going to take another little break from donations because I am overfilled with donations, which is a great problem to have as always, but we're going to take another like week break just so I can get caught up and Tara can get caught up because once she has the cast off and gets the boot on and can bear weight on her foot, this is going to be a little bit easier on me. And, um, you know, working on top of that, my bartending job plus now I have to work every other Friday until we have a girl that's trained and hopefully stays long enough to take over the Friday shift we'll see how that goes all right I need to get over dude so figure out what you're doing anyway what was I talking about we're gonna take a break for a week I am going to ask that nobody sends any donations for a whole full seven days because I need to get up the list on my um description box underneath every video I will have a list of what is needed and I will update this list as often as I am told what is needed um because we're getting things that aren't needed like just I'm just saying for example this isn't like anybody that sent this people that send stuff for kitchens or um school supplies still like the school supplies were in the middle of school we don't need any of those now. All the kids are taken care of with school supplies. So, you know, there's times when things, certain things are needed and I'm not trying to sound rude or ignorant in any way. If you take it like that, I apologize, but that I'm not, I'm just repeating what the places that we donate to are saying. They don't have room to hold. Okay. Like what holiday just passed? Let's say you're sending summer clothes. They don't have the room for those. Do you know what I mean? So we can't hold summer clothes for a whole year. So if you're gonna send winter clothes, absolutely. But please don't send items that they can't hold on to because they just don't have the space. So like if you're gonna send anything baby, absolutely. They, they always need anything baby. Clothing, pampers, you name it you know, anything baby is fine. Women's products, sanitary napkins, women's deodorants, makeup. There's only certain types of food right now that the church is asking for because not that it's all junk food and that's all they get. That's not the case. They have stuff. Right now they're in need of stuff um, like oatmeal, uh, ramen, Slim Jims, um, Pop-Tarts, things like that and that's not all they're getting what's on that list isn't what is not what they're just getting they're getting more from the church as well but I want to try and keep it so that we can only donate what is in need because right now we are just over donating and the stuff is just going to end up going 
to Goodwill. You know what I mean? And that's not what we want. Am I gonna hit a car? <laughs> Let's hope for the best. We're good, I didn't hit anything. Um, I hope you guys understand and I hope you don't take it like offense to the, the way I said it. I hope it came out right. You guys know I'm not good with words, obviously. Um, it's just that I'm getting over inundated with, with items that aren't needed. And I just wanna stick to what is in need and we'll adjust it as we go. And maybe I'll end up finding a place that will take items that aren't in need in the future. But for right now, I'm just so, so overly busy. And I hope you guys can understand that and understand that it's just, we're just gonna take it down a couple notches and only send things that are in need. And I would greatly appreciate that because it would take so much stress off of me and Tara and of course the places. So thank you so much for understanding, I hope. And the next time you see me, I'll be with Beth and we're gonna go do the dang thing and jump on in these dumpsters. We are at, um, where are we at? Joanne's. <laughs> and there is magazines. No, oh, I just stuck my hand in something gross. All right. We got the good magazines, finally. Look at that, Under the Sea. How cute. Oh, they are cute. There's a couple of those. Embroidery. We haven't found these in so long. Lucci Heaton. Cross stitch magazines, stamps and dies, and book of lists. A book of lists. That's, <laughs> That's <a> bad, <laughs> weird. Do you want your live? What's that? Peeps, we're at Walgreens. The dumpster's full, but I don't know if it's full of anything good yet. boxes. Because the whole way down, I'm liking the boxes. Man, ain't that a beach? Finally, we're at a Dollar General. They're gonna close soon. But look what's in the dumpster. Tons of soda. A bunch of dog food. They open all the oh, food. Yeah. Okay, they'll open all me. Alright, there's one. Thank you for putting something back. That's appreciated. There's a bag. Shoot. Try to be quiet. These ones are... Cool. I can hand you those. This one's got a little bit of cat food in it. Another <laughs> zero sugar. It's always the zero sugar. Yeah, it is. There's a big one. Oh, God, don't call. Regular Coke. Oh, it stinks in here. <laughs> There's one leaking in that one. It. Is We're covered in pop, but we got stuff. That's what's important. <laughs> we got a lot of pop. So on to the next town we go. All right, peeps. We are at Dollar General. I found a ball. And Beth said there's pop. How much pop we got? Why does it have to be so down in there? <laughs> oh, I need my stole. Oh, no, I forgot all my bags. Cause I took all that stuff to the um, food bank and I took all my bags out and I totally forgot to put them back in. <laughs> um, Here, yeah, I, I need to see if I can get it from this floor. You want oh, me to jump no. in? The magnet fell off. <laughs> Probably because it was on so tight. It fell off. I can crawl in this door and just hand it to you. That's in the dumpster! <laughs> okay. Alright. I can just crawl Hold on. That one's so. Oh, yeah, 
that is. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll show you the end product. Don't worry. <laughs> I wasn't recording. This is what we just got out of the dumpster. Beth was in the dumpster. Hopefully, I got it. I doubt I did. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. Oh my God, it's so cold, guys. It is we are. Cold. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, I'm not because there's no bugs. We are going to check the next. What is up next? Another Dollar General. Yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there's something at this one because we have not found anything. We went to a ton of Dollar Generals. There goes all the pop. <laughs> Family Dollar. I mean, we've been to so many places and there's just hasn't been anything. So cross your fingers and toes. There's something in this next one. We're at the what, Walgreens dumpster. <laughs> Look at all the raccoons. Okay. You're good. Go get them. We're not going to bother you. You can come right back. Don't come this way. <laughs> Jump like the other dude comes. You can make it, buddy. Go ahead. I'm Go not, ahead. We're not going to hurt you. Oh, God. I thought I seen one over here by my feet. <laughs> Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you something in there. Damn, this dumpster smells, guys. Oh, it smells bad. It gets worse down here, too. Oh, yeah, Oh, I don't see anything good, but how am I supposed to see anything good when there's... Let's see if there's anything on this side. Hopefully not a family of raccoons. <laughs> okay, they're not there. All right. Oh, man, it's so hard to see. Oh, God, the dumpster stinks so bad, guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with no. <laughs> no go on that one. But we saw some cute raccoons again. <laughs> Alright peeps, we are at the next Dollar General. We have not had any luck tonight and it is already almost midnight and we are tired and fa 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 fa, -fa freezing oh, Man, all those naked juices are so good. <laughs> Guys, we're at the last dumpster. Let's hope and pray there's something in here Oh my god again there's some Dr. Pepper I see though. Yeah, all right. Well, time for me to get in. Grab a buggy. Oh, Good yeah. thing we have buggies here. I hand y'all to Beth. There we go. Oh God, this dumpster is freezing. There's a spider one right there. <laughs> That's your stuff, okay. It is cold. Oh. Oh, cold metal on the butt sheet. Yeah, you can see your breath. It's so cold. Yes, it is. All right. Let's load her Oh, gross. <laughs> Let me make sure it doesn't have funk on it. Just a little bit. Grab it by that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> These paper towels are making it even grosser. So much fun. <laughs> it's like they just came out here with a roll of paper towels and just like, oops, sorry. Started like going like. <laughs> <laughs> Making it rain. Making it rain with paper towels, man. Oh, get me out of this nastiness. Another cart full here. <sighs> Second week in a row. Oh. Like how? I know. <laughs> There's so much. This is the second week in a row. Just taking our shopping cart to the car. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna load her up, guys. And I will see you in the full reveal. 
car full of pop. This big old bun of mine always gets cut off <laughs> on the camera and I have to like adjust it every time. Anyway, hello, welcome to today's reveal where I will be showing you everything we got out of the dumpsters. It's not a lot, like a lot of different stuff. It is a lot of soda and it is a lot of magazines from Joann's that we have not seen in months in their dumpsters, let me tell you. So I'm super excited about that and I'm super excited about all the soda behind me that we saved. Now, it's not a super mega haul, like, you know, we filled the cardam of the roof and we got stuff out of every dumpster like I would like, but this is a ton of soda that can go to the food bank. Everybody likes a little soda here and there. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I figure these would be amazing for the ladies at the women and children's or even the kids because there are some kids ones in here. So with that being said, let me zip it and show you everything Beth and I found at the dumpsters. So the very first place that we started was a very far away town and we didn't have very much luck let me tell you the only thing we were able to get out of that town was some pop and these magazines from joanne's these aren't just normal magazines so let me show you what i'm talking about these are like things you can make so it gives you the magazine and then it gives you like the um stamps or the dies or whatever the case may be and these things are cheap guys y'all are gonna fall over when i tell you the dang price okay it is $19.99 in the u.s and $24.99 in canada for this tiny thin I mean, like, there's no pages magazine. But, of course, there is, like, projects in here and the um, dies and stamps and all that, which I'm guessing is expensive. I don't do that kind of stuff, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we got a lot of money in magazines is what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> so there's a lot that comes in these magazines, even though there's not, like, a ton of paper inside the magazine. I'm guessing everybody buys them for that reason, for the dies and stamps. I know, I'm not making sense, bear with me, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull through. <laughs> I'm so tired. I sound like a man again, oh Lord. We also got two of these love embroidery. Let's see how much these bad boys were, shall we? $15.99 in the US and $16.50 in Canada. Then we got two ultimate cross stitch, which I know a lot of people that love to cross stitch, man. I wish I could figure out. I mean, look at some of these. That is just gorgeous. I just ain't got them kind of skills, guys. Let's see, this one was $20 in the US and $20 in Canada. So this is a lot of money in magazines. So even though it doesn't seem like we got a ton there, we got a lot of money out of that dumpster. This will be so awesome to donate to because I'm sure some of these ladies that we donate this stuff to would love to do this, but can't afford it. So this is gonna be awesome, I'm super stoked. Next we got Crafts Beautiful, and we got two of those. And these were $18.99 each. We also, I think I think when I was in the dumpster, I called this Lucci Heaton. <laughs> it's Lucy, Shannon. <laughs> Lucci. Oh my goodness, my brain, guys. My brain. Somebody let me know when you find it, okay? But this is also showing you how to cross stitch. And this looks like it's more um, children's, a lot more children's ideas. They have like the alphabet and they have like little princesses and castles. Look at how cool. Like that's cross stitch. Could you even imagine? <laughs> Moving on. The last two we got out of Joann's are card making and paper crafting. And you get four packs inside, stamps, dies, and papers. Like this stuff is so stinking cool. And I am sure that some of the women at the Blackburn or the Women and Children's Center would love this stuff. So that is where all these are going. I know a lot of you ladies like to email me and ask if you can buy these, but... I am not selling anymore to anybody. I apologize, but everything gets donated here. With the amount of donations we're getting, y'all know it, I'm overflowing, man, which is a good problem to have. 
But then we went to all the different dumpsters and saved all of this soda. So let me zip it, flip y'all around, and show you all the soda Beth and I saved. Holy flipping cow. This is so much soda. Oh, and I had to hide the ball from Peanut. We also found a ball, <laughs> but I had to hide it so he didn't eat it and pop it. I think it was three different... Yeah, three different Dollar Generals that we were able to save all this from. But starting in the back, we have all of the Diet Cokes. And no, I did not count any of these because you know, I just had five minutes to my time this morning to throw all these in order and do this video. So I apologize I didn't count them, but believe me when I tell you, uh, there's a lot. We got three six packs of a regular Dr. Pepper a ton of Diet Dr. Pepper, four full cases, one half of a case, well, 12 pack, you know what I mean? And then two and a half, 12 packs of singles on the floor. We have three of the mini cans of Coke Zero, Seagram's Ginger Ale, and what is that, Sprite. Two of the bottles of regular Coca-Cola, two 12 packs of Coca-Cola Zero, three full Coca-Cola 12 packs and a half, one Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar, blah, 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 blah. what? <laughs> 12 pack of cherry, the rest of it is over there. Most of these six packs were like water, waterlogged is that what you would call it? You get what I'm saying. So some of them are falling apart and they just smelt funky. So I got rid of the boxes, cleaned all the cans, good to go. Also, we got some of the regular Coca-Cola cans right there. We have some Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Regular right over here with the cherry. And last but not least, we saved a performance drink, a C4 Original Zero Sugar Strawberry Watermelon Ice. And that, my friends, I was hoping it didn't hit me in the head, <laughs> is everything. So, like I said, it wasn't a ton, but we did save so much soda. Like, literally, if you would add all of this pop up that we were able to save. Like th this isn't cheap anymore. We used to be able to get like three 12 packs at the Dollar General for $9. Now it's $15. The prices are just going up and going up and going up. So anytime we're able to save this amount of items from the landfill, it it's awesome. We are helping people in need and that's what this is all about. So that being said, I'm going to zip it so I can edit this and get it up for you guys today. I apologize for being away for so long, but I had to work. We all know my old bones cannot take it. So I definitely need my bed, a heating pad, and some Advil, which I'll do after I edit this, I promise. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with Beth and I in the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I, of course, will talk to you all. I sound like I'm dying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's because I talked all weekend. I, I apologize. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments <laughs> down below. <laughs> Who is that guy? What's that guy on? Oh, my goodness. I can't think of the movie. What's the movie with the princess and the ogre? You know what I'm talking about. Somebody will know. I feel like that's what I sound like <laughs> with the donkey. <laughs> donkey. What is it? I don't know. I'll talk to you all in this comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving. <laughs>